so I'll give also a little shop tour. This is my two car garage, roughly 400 square feet. And I'll go in, in. This is how I feed in my material from the outside to the inside of the shop. Um, this is a Powermatic 66. Right next to it is a bench dog router table with a router lift. I use two fences. Um, one of them has the metal plate to use my little grip tights right here. And instead of screwing on a metal piece, I just bought a second fence. The other one for my rollers when I feed sheet good. Um, my table saw sled inspired by David Marks. Very simple design. My kick switch, very simple to turn on the saw through the hole right here. And if I want to turn the saw off, just bump it with my foot. Very easy to use. Now, let's start on this side. A little sander, an old grinder I barely use, shop radio, and my toolbox. Next to it, my little 15 inch planer. And above all that, my tiny little wood rack. I barely ever keep a lot of material in stock. I just simply don't have the space for it. Um, little hand tools. Here now my latest purchase. My dual drum sander. It's a General International. So far I haven't been able to use it much. I have my dust collection system not really hooked up yet. Just on my drills paper towels, my two shop dogs. Okay, now on the back wall, try to clear out everything a little bit. I have here the JDS multi-router that I love using. I just don't use it all that much, but once I do, it really comes in handy. Um, here are my 14-inch jet bandsaw. And next to it, my Laguna 16 HD that I bought about three years ago. Plenty of resale for me. And then here, let me move that in place a little bit. One of my Festool towers with a table next to it. And then over here, another set of Festool tools. So far, very happy with those tools. Okay, now over here, my grinder I use for my turning tools with a Wolverine jig and my Tormek. Overall, the Tormek doesn't see a lot of work, but if I ever need it, I'm glad I have it. And then over here are some of my electric tools that I barely use. Okay, now my turning area. I remodeled the shop a while ago. Let me just open this curtain first. And I had a 50 gallon water heater in the shop that was right in the corner where the drill press is standing. And I just simply didn't want to have this big monster here. So I ended up getting a small unit, a tankless water heater. And that opened up the space for me to put my drill press and my scroll saw. And I could finally use this whole area just for my turning. Get the hose out of the way a little bit. This is my Stubby 1000. I've had for about two years. And also this whole area allowed me to finally organize my turning tools a little bit nicer. Okay, just a little edit. Forgot to show my out little, way a little bit. lathe card. Up here, anything small, sharpening stones, honing stones, pen tools, chuck keys. In here, all my little lathe face plates, my drives, drive accessories. Next one down, a little collection of chucks. Can never have enough chucks. I have one on each size. Jaw, so I don't have to change jaws all the time. Down here, sanding discs, many of them. And at the very bottom, 
accessories for my vacuum chuck. Cool. Okay. Let's see what's going on here. Got all my gouges. Sanding discs, small tools. In those nine drawers, I have my little sheets of sandpaper that I pre cut and just store that way. All my scrapers. And here is my coring tool selection. Some gauges, all my wrenches I need for the lathe. My steady rest. Again, I'm very happy with this lathe. And then over here is my big, uh, my big steady rest I use for hollow turning larger tools, uh, I mean larger forms. And then up here I have all my cutters for my hollowing tools. This big thing right here is a four foot hollowing bar that I use with the Keith Clark hollowing rig, which I actually have mounted back down here those two metal pieces then next to the curtain I got my little vacuum press mounted to the wall so I can hook it up to my vacuum chuck I got from Bill Grumbine great guy great vacuum chuck and in order to not get all the wood chips on my drill press I mounted the little curtain let me step back a little bit move the shock cart So now I have my tools back here protected and I can make a bit more of a mess and not have to worry about anything.